Hemming is once again coming at us. And I'll once again pay him off. We're actually getting quite a bit of influence for Siegfried because he's been fighting battles, and battles are very good for influence. Ooh, our force leveled up. So, not only do your characters level up, but your armies do as well. So, each national army has their own skill tree, just like the characters do. So we can increase our replenishment, which would be really nice, because it means that their armies recover quickly. We get more money from raiding, more morale when laying siege, more general morale, experience for various units, more missile damage for a ro um, Viking army seems a little rubbish, more melee attack, that's good, charge bonus, okay, and less enemy morale. Well, I'm going to take the replenishment, both of them. So this army will replenish 2% more quickly, which in this is actually quite high, remembering that you're talking about hundreds of units at a time. And we'll continue sailing away. Right. The sails of doom, I'm going to say, are now back in business. We're going to get them double timing just to cross the sea. We'll move down here to hopefully support them if they get attacked again, so we'll go as close as possible. I guess we'll go and attack London again, because that's all that these guys can really do. I'm going to press space so these guys move a bit more quickly. And that is it. Almost got rid of the famine. And the fields are just finished. Oh, what? We're at minus one. That's infuriating. One of these a food market. Yeah, you are. What do I need for that? A city or a trade city? So not a hall. That's just more market growth. Need more irrigation for that, and I just need to wait for growth. Okay. Nothing I can do about that famine right now, I guess. Except switch this ship right into a fishing thing, but I don't really want to do that. I could upgrade this so we get a much bigger garrison and then we get access to the Viking Marauders, but I've been really disappointed with how the fleets do right now, so I'm not going to bother. Oh, not again. For the tribe. Three change per turn, it's because England is so freaking far away. It takes forever to get over there. I think I'm just going to have to build up a big enough army to take some territory here and then, like Knight of Winter was saying, start my own stronghold. So we have a beachhead so we can at least return to it and reinforce just because Denmark is so far away. I was hoping to like launch these lightning raids, build up my treasury and then use that to fund an army, but I'm, it doesn't look like I'm going to have really the chance to do that. We'll go back into raiding stance. And we'll head down to attack London once more. Moving out. Development. All Lords of Power. So we have extra public order. That's good. Can I get anything which increases food? No, it's the short answer. Let's get more raid income. Let's do that. Units both moved. Other is leveled up again for doing nothing. I love this. Great. And then I can get this military training, which does indeed just give experience every turn. Cool. So now basically I can attach him to an army, in which case he trains the army, or I can leave him in the town, and then he can, uh, sorry, in a province, and then he increases the amount of troops I can raise at once in that province. And the amount of money I have has suddenly gone up. Is that because I'm raiding? 130 from raiding. What's the cost of this actual force? I know it's here somewhere. Maybe here. <laughs> Costs 1,700. So it's returning barely anything of what it actually costs. So raiding is, as I thought, kind of pointless. And integrity, as always, is low. That was a priest, I think, rushing past. So clearly, Mercy is trying to convert someone, probably us. Famine, still. 
you are almost home. So you should start replenishing soon. There we go. So once we're in friendly territory, they start replenishing. It's going to take them a long time to get these units back though. Once I'm in the town though, it should go more quickly. In fact, if I wasn't in a famine, it would go more quickly as well. So Siegfried has gained a trait, so he gets more income from trade, which is nice. Are there more people I can trade with? There are. I don't want to trade with the Franks though. Never mind. We are still technologying, technology ing. Right, let's go and raid London again. Because it is a nice source of money. London has similar army to what it had before. It has rebuilt most of it, but no new buildings. There is more wealth here. They're really, really unhappy. Probably because they keep on getting raided. What's up, London? I'm back with a much bigger army. So you have 1,200, I have 1,400. Let's do this. Okay, so foggy. No. No. Yay. Vikings only attack on a nice day. We have a much bigger fleet now. We are going to do a similar thing to what we did before. Has London changed? No, this was the beach that we attacked, wasn't it? Yeah. So we can do much the same in winter, so there's some snowy fields out and about. This is kind of how snow in England looks. It's never all covering, it's just in little areas because we never get enough of it. So we need to set up Ready, our axi ships, and then our shooty ships, and our lordy ship. Or as I should say, his lordship. <laughs> yes, I just did a pun. Okay, we're going to disembark back here once more. I'm going to hold down shift so I can see where they are. You can see from like, the back of the ship where they are disembarking. So the archer's just behind there. And then finally his lordship right at the back. Speed things up and get these things moving. We are heavily outnumbered. In fact, because they've tried to sally out at us every time, we're going to leave our archer ships over here by the shore in case they try and sally again. Oh, except their one ship is chasing us. No, screw that. Disembark. Actually, oh, that's fine. You go and kill them. Him. You lot. The enemy draws near. Do not shoot, please. Don't catch him, don't catch him, don't catch him, don't catch him. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha! Just about. Okay, I need to slow this down. Right. We'll go to the land tab, we'll select our armies, and we will get ready for this fight. So, you lot. There, don't run. And then my axemen can go right at the end of the line, form up there. So here it does show that they're very slightly different, a slightly bigger axe, and a very slightly different beard. Our warlord is absolutely chopping them to pieces. And we're magically jumping. <laughs> wow, the Danes really should be in a high jump contest because they would easily win it. That's without the pole. So that fight's as good as over, then we can land and then we'll have our general here as well. I think. It doesn't look like they're going to move their armies close enough to us so we can shoot at them. See, that might be partially my fault because I'm forming up so far over. So if we were to form up more like that, with you there, then maybe we could. We'll grab our archery ships and put you right there. See how this works. 
This is estimating that we'll win this. Armies are in the right position. They are not sallying this time, or are they? No, you're just changing formation. Where are your noble guys? There they are. So this is the icon I was talking about, replenish ammo. Takes them 30 seconds and then they get 10 more shots. Oh no, it's, sorry, it's instant, but they can't do it for another 30 seconds. And they shoot more slowly for 30 seconds. Are you guys attacking me? I hope you are, that would be very nice. Did you ever uh, disembark? Yeah, you did. You're there. Okay, cool. Let's bring you up to here. And then we'll shield wall up. They are indeed coming into our range, and you can see our circle is just there, so they should be able to shoot. So you guys, regular arrows, open fire. I'm hoping to see a nice little spray of arrows coming out. Nope. That must be just out of range. It's unfortunate. How about to we move you guys around a little more? Their archers are shooting us, but ours are not shooting back. Not really. Ah, one of them shooting. You're shooting. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Unlimited ammo, here we come. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! And yeah, you can see these guys, three shots left, so they do only start with five. We're we running already? And you were those guys, okay. Oh, they did use up most of their ammo, so you must have been shooting at us for a while. Fire enough. Viking Raiders! I'm just gonna charge them. the smack. This ship has nothing more to fire. So these ships have run out. Replenish, please. Boards ready. Viking Raider. Let's go. Warriors on me. So I'm just giving them a little more melee defense to help them against the spearmen because they're on their own against them. Ready and able. The archers are shooting us to pieces. You run away, chase them, please. More ammunition. This ship will continue firing. Right. Get off the ship. You start replenishing. You also. You charge them. You charge them. You charge them. Where's my warlord? Keep marching. Viking Raiders! Viking Raiders! As soon as they clash, I'll pull back two of these units and I'll hit the Royal Companions in the back. No, not all three. Two, I said, not three. Now they're gonna get away. Yeah. Good, so we've got their archers in melee, so we've locked them down. And we're gonna hit Ammunition stops restored. them from behind. Our hidden units have been discovered! Bring our archers up. We're making their archers run away. Which is good. So we'll try and get our archers behind. Go that way. Thank you. We are suffering quite a few casualties here. More than I would have expected. Not yet. No. Not you over there. Group up. Attack them. The spears have got better. 
broken and are fleeing. Archers! Don't go into that relief fight, please. So we're going into skirmish mode here against these spearmen, which means that they will run away automatically when someone gets too close. So we have all four of our archer units shooting these guys in the back, hopefully. Bring you back into the fight. We're about to rear charge our general. Not going to allow that. Good, we killed their general. We turned our general around just in time to counter these, and we've sent another unit to counter these guys before they hit us in the back. So we've actually countered them pretty well, plus our archers are still very nicely arranged behind them. They're now dead. We'll tell you to go into melee, chase them down, we'll tell you to attack them. So all of our axemen are now going into their spears. That is a victory. End the battle before the towers can kill us. Oh, veteran admiral. Got an achievement. Not the best victory. We did suffer a lot of casualties, but we also killed a lot, to be fair. Again, not the best use of archers. I'm too used to fighting defensive battles. And I know how pointless, well not pointless, but how poor they, they are. The archers are mostly there to knock down towers. So yet another rank 2 governor dead. I am just going to sack London. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to start the north of England. Because uh, Northumbria, as we know up there, has expanded quite a lot. So we'll start with the top of Northumbria and then move our way down. So we'll sack it. Yes. Your orders. Both our fleet and our army leveled up. So we're going to increase our movement range. And the fleet is going to get more... Oh, these are... Wait, are these different? Yeah, they're different. Right, so more, even more movement range would be nice. Hull strength, not that important. Less piracy. Well, we're the pirates. More raiding. Yeah. Ooh, cheaper upkeep. That would be nice. More morale. Unit experience, unit experience. Attack, attack, ammunition. I'm going to take the movement speed for now. And then probably the raiding income, because these guys are just going to be hanging off the coast just raiding stuff. That's how I'm expecting them to contribute. We'll go back to double time, and we're going to run away again. So these fleets should move really, really quickly, particularly once we have the tech. No, we already have it done. So our armies are going to be very, very fast, is what we're going for here. So we should be able to hit and then run very quickly, and basically outrun their armies. It's just so annoying, there aren't more coastal places here. What's Boulogne? We're not at war with... no, you're allied. Never mind. Again, northern France had way more coastal cities than the previous... in Vanilla Attila. You have got... I could go after St. Malo. Is that Franks? No, Brittany. Quimper isn't. I just need to explore more of the coastline and see where I can actually start striking with my navy. Because, like, northern France is definitely the prime area to attack before... Very disappointed how Britain looks, though. Need to land armies. That's what it comes down to. Yes. You guys need to get home. You need to start building some new troops, which I'll start doing in the next turn. Uh, predicted income's gone up very slightly, but we're definitely making the most money just by pillaging. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, you're not losing anymore, anyway. And minus two from food. <laughs> Come on, you have one short. You're losing integrity. Yes, even faster. Oh, that's just from the s casualties. Spoils of war helps. And you're on foreign soil. Okay. Next turn. Nothing I can do about that. Very annoyed about this famine, though. Hopefully that's just a winter thing and it'll sort out now. Because I know you do produce less food during the winter. Nope, apparently not. Gah. Let's 
just growth. I need food. Construction cost. Research rate. Ah. Alright. You get home. Off your ships. Start recruiting. Ready for battle. Oh, should have been a normal stance. Rats. Alright, start recruiting next turn then. Ready for orders. And then once that army has been recruited. Whoa, you can move a really long way in. <laughs> wow. Meow. Well, not quite. There we go. That's the Nyaum. Unfortunately, I don't think he can engage agents. You should be replenishing now as well. Yes, you are. Good. You are... Oh, man. Troops are deserting because of the famine. I don't know what to do about this famine. I guess I could decrease the level of this thing. What else is using food? Warriors Hall is. I need the Warriors Hall because I want the troops. You are not, you are not. You are, but you're a level one. I could decrease your level. Get less money. But it would also cost a whole lot less food. I think I'm going to do that. Dismantle you. And go back to a level one manor. Because this famine is ridiculous. It's really holding us back. Ready for battle. What mercenary is going to get here? Mercenary sword herdman. Yeah, that's too expensive. Next turn. Now the famine should be resolved. Bad omen, public order, fine, I have an army here now. Thirsty for battle. Standard. Recruit. Here we go. Ooh, we get even more experience. Sweet. Okay, we want Axe Herdman for sure, we also want Sword Herdman. We do need to kind of keep in mind the costs, though I am quite happy to go slightly above it. So I might get two of each. Can I do that? Yes, I can. And maybe. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? No, I'm not going to bother with those archers because we have these regular archers. Archery is not where our strength lies. I'm kind of tempted by some more axemen. Let's see what's the difference. So, melee defense of the swords is way stronger. Melee damage, melee attack on the axes is far stronger. And the axes just cost more. I think we probably want. We need good fighters. Let's see. So, our front line would currently be three swords with two axes on the side. Let's go for four swords, there is no and then one axe, just in case. We can get two more. Are you ready That'll do. To do your duty to the tribe? This is going to be expensive to maintain. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen hundred. So we're going to go to minus grand every turn. We cannot afford that. It's going to have to be something like that, which is a tiny army. <laughs> I guess I could get more cheap guys. In fact, what I'm going to do, what's your damage? Your damage is actually better. What I was thinking there for a moment was having the Sword Herdman to kind of hold the centre line, because I do really rate them, then have these Axe Freemen on the, uh, the sides to come in, hit the flanks, and then attack and do actual damage, but I don't think that would work, because their melee damage is actually lower than the swords. And the melee attack is better. It's just the fact they have no armor. They always suffer massive casualties. Go for the big axes and go all out on that attack. 
That's probably a better call, actually, though they are somewhat more expensive. And it's money that I'm worried about. Maybe I should just there do that. No finer ending. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. So it'll be minus 500, which is sustainable. We'll have this army ready in a turn. Replenishments in five. We might just sit here, otherwise we're bleeding money. Demolition complete. We have now got positive food. Good. That was way too big a headache to deal with. And now we're getting much more growth, which means we can then start getting that second farm up and running. And then we can upgrade those things again. And the reinforcement should also be quite dramatically increased. Uh, you should be curing yourself of that integrity problem. Yeah, plus four a turn now. Good. This campaign is not going anywhere near as well as I was ex as I was expecting. I was expecting Britain to be a real cash cow. Let's tell you to go normal stance. Hopefully that increases the number of troops you're getting. I think so. So replenishment is affected by famines. So now that I've resolved the famine, we're replenishing pretty quickly here. War declared. Frisia against the Franks. Okay. Flaccid. Is that our? No, it's Ragnar. It's fine. It's not our general. Speaking of generals. How old are you? 13. And their loyalty seems to have been fixed. Their integrity is actually improving, so I'm quite happy to just click through. Enemy priest is almost in our territory. Oh, we have an assassin who we can use against that. I think we should try and do that. It will show us how expensive the agent action is as well. Oh, it's winter. Can you reach? You can reach. To target you with an assassinate, cost 500. Chance of success, 57%. Chance of failure, 43. Do it. Don't want you converting us. Critical failure. Got wounded. The assassin was almost assassinated. Freaking typical. Alright, next turn. The Vikings are being far less aggressive than I would really hope. For the tribe. Alt, Alt Clut versus Northumbria. So Northumbria is at war with someone, which is good. Hemming gains another rank, which is not so good. Strong hemming is not necessarily a good thing. We can get more tax rate and then less construction cost. I think that sounds like an excellent idea to me. Good. You're still wounded. You are still replenishing, though you could actually start recruiting some troops now. What are we going to do? Just four of these, I think. It's a good life! Three for now. For now we'll do it over two turns. So one, Come, fight for us, two, three, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 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 So that will be seven hundred under acceptable because we'll be looting stuff and then we can use them really offensively, especially if we have this kind of replenishment. It's actually quite quick. Yes. Unlike the ships, which are taking for freaking ever. Really nah, annoyed about that. For the tribe. And we are gaining integrity pretty quickly now. Jutland's making us some money, which is always nice. And then we'll go and attack Northumbria and hopefully we'll get our um, beachhead over there. Meanwhile, Mercia runs around and the Lord is a laughs about the fact general. that they're beating us. Frisia wants a military access for money. Land. I'll accept that. 
probably because of their war against the Franks. Oh yeah, of course, our army is much stronger because of the extra experience they're getting. I wish there was a way of training these guys up, but I don't think there is. No. That's not cost nearly as much as I expected. Ready for battle. So this should, in theory, cost us another 600, but I'll bet it's only going to go to about 3. Who am I to complain? <laughs> you are not ready yet. You are ready in one turn, and then we attack. 13,000 men should... Ooh, 13 units should be enough. Hubba is back. Hubba. Dude. Kill him. Success. He's dead. So we've killed the priest. And now Hubba cannot move this turn. The next turn he can attach to these guys and actually provide them with experience every turn as well. So our raiders are suddenly going kind to of become very, very strong indeed. Actually, I could attach Abba to our... No, I'm not going to do it to the fleet. Fleet's not worth enough. And then we're going to sail very slowly across the North Sea, and then we'll hit Northumbria. Development. Conquerors. Ah, plus twenty percent rating income. Sweet. Imperium allows us to get the garrison emplacement, which is not that useful. Actually, if we're taking territory, then that suddenly becomes useful. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> we're doing almost entirely military. Kind of says something about our faction, really. So you train them, support the army, start training them even more. You go to forced march, and you. Oh, I can't move that far. Rats. You are still going. How long? Four turns. I'll give you one. And now we're at minus 600. Okay, so we are losing money pretty heavily. So we need to get the fleet over there and raiding. I might go into Wales and see if I can raid Bristol. I'm going to guess that was. Maybe Ireland. Ireland was very heavily attacked by the Vikings. Very heavily. For example, the city of Dublin was actually founded by the Vikings. Flooding. Oh, please. That's fine, I'm just leaving, Hedby. In fact, we're at sea already. See ya! Okay, so we are going to Northumberland. We are going... We could go straight for Bamberg, to be quite honest. No, we need a holdout. Let's go for Scone. And then from there we can go in any direction, really. Or we could go a bit further south and have some better terrain. Like we could go straight for Lincoln. Lincoln was not well defended. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's all marshland over there, so we will lose some people on the way. That's acceptable. So that's going to take us, what, one, two, three, four turns to arrive. We have the money for that. Especially if you guys actually start earning me something. So, double time it. Over to their coast. In fact, I might escort somewhat these ships. Not seeing any en enemies. Okay, good. Next. Population surplus, Jutland. Sweet. How many are we at now? We are four. We're at four. We can get another farm. Yes! So we're going to build a farm. More fields. More food. Then I can actually expand to your um, agricultural your stuff again. You. Onwards. Actually, go there. It's probably a bit quicker to Lincoln there, because we're more on the road. You. Why can't you move? You have full movement. Oh, because I was looking at the wrong thing. It moves so far that the line's actually off the screen. 
That is a good problem to have. I've got to say. So we could go absolutely blitzing down the coast. Could start attacking Brittany, but Mallow was no Mallow was not walled. So yes, we could go and attack Brittany. You know what? It's really wealthy. You can see to the left of my cursor when I move it down there, next to the 100% uh, Christian. 1,100. That's quite a lot of money. So we are going to go charging down here. We're going to make another enemy. In fact, I should be raiding all this time. Stop. Ah, too late. Next turn we start raiding. Others in the no, army. Next turn. At least in raiding stance, we're offsetting some of the losses that we're incurring. And generally, the more wealth traveling through in trade, the uh, the more money you'll make. I'm not actually seeing any wealth through here. No trade routes. Only the one from London to wherever that's going. Ireland, maybe. No, Bamberg. So, uh, Mercia to Wessex. No, Mercia, Mercia to Northumbria. Almost there. Two more turns. Money's going to hold out. Just. And you guys, raiding stance. You'll be much slower, but you will be earning money as you go. Don't tell me you're losing it again. Oh, for goodness sake. That foreign soil modifier is really quite irritating. <laughs> Fine. I just need to get you into a fight that you'll win without too many casualties. Need some easy targets. 